What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weeb here, and we're back in my closet to watch episode 20 of Mushishi. So last episode, Ginko was helping out Fuki and Seijiro. Fuki was the one who could see Mushi, and she, she saw a little string-like thing hanging from the sky, decided to grab onto it, and got yanked up in the, into the air. Then we later found out that that Mushi uh, is a very powerful one. It roams the skies looking for food. And when there's not enough food in the sky, uh, it lets it down those little strings to try and catch prey. And that's exactly what happened to Fuki. She got captured. She was swallowed up a little bit, then spat back out. And she sort of turned into a Mushi herself, which is why uh, Seijiro and the villagers couldn't find her when she was just uh, chilling in the mountains and then she ran into Ginko he helped her out and Ginko was telling Seijiro that he has to be the one to help uh, Fuki feel human again so she can be seen by everyone and then it seemed like deep down Seijiro didn't feel that way so he couldn't see Fuki uh, even though she was still in their house and after that second talk with Ginko um, he he started just living his life as if Fuki was there even though he couldn't see her and eventually she became uh, visible again to everyone so uh, the message I got from this one was if you love someone don't let anyone uh, tear you guys apart um, if you guys are ride or die for each other just think about making each other happy and forget all the noise around you uh, his dad didn't want them to be together and despite all that he stuck with it he he couldn't see her he lived his daily life as if she was there had a wedding uh, as if she was there the villagers still looked at him funny but eventually uh, she became visible visible again for everyone to see so cool episode again scary Mushi can't imagine getting yoinked up into the air like that so let's see what Ginko gets into next. Let's jump into episode 20 of Mushishi, A Sea of Writings. Oh geez, she's already crying. So if she's overworked or what? Look at that Ginko looks like he just makes his rounds around the world or something. People just know him all over the place. Jeez. Secret room. <laughs> Dang, they got guides to seal the mushi in there. All right, that's a very important place. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the? Is that a freaking like an ink leg or something? Jeez! No. Dang, she was born with the Mushi. Whoa. A Mushi attempting to erase life. Okay, so she got that scary Mushi that's trying to erase life. Mm. 
Okay, okay, she's she's gonna be the one to end this Mushi with her life, or in her lifetime. And it's gonna be with the help of Ginko that they finally seal this Mushi away. Ooh. Oh, that Mushi don't like them stories. Dang, she gotta keep writing stories to get rid of that Mushi. Oh, snap! So she was starting to feel bad for the Mushi. Dang. That is tough. She was living with the Mushi in her leg. Oh, here we go. Ginko gonna give her a different perspective. Yeah, Ginko's gonna talk about like the good things about Mushi. Yeah. Everything about killing Mushi. Oh, she loves hearing the stories that he has. Tears. Oh, Mushi. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is going on? Mushi attack? Oh goodness. Oh no. The Mushi. The... The stories. The information. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it gonna attack her? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What the heck? Why are you so calm, Ginko? <laughs> this looks freaky, man. Oh, she about to turn up? Oh, let's see it. Tanyu. Oh. Dang, you gotta put them all back one by one. Yo, that is a lot of work.
終わるまでそこにいてくれなあ、uh, we get to see her at work Yo, that's crazy. So the stories she gets told, it just comes out of her like that? What? <laughs> no, that's crazy. Dang. She got all the characters on her. Yo. Yeah, she just she made a connection with the Mushi. Okay, look at Ginko, giving her a nice piggyback ride. Helping her out. Aww. Yeah, she looks at Ginko as a real friend. It's a promise. You heal your leg, you get to travel with Ginko. <laughs> this one's sweet too. Oh, this is crazy. Crazy Mushi. Alright, so this one we follow Tanyu. She was born with a birthmark leg that had some Mushi in it. And basically she became the uh, the one who would write the stories of the Mushishi that would come by. And she would always hear stories about these Mushishi killing Mushi. And I guess that affected... Uh, affected how she felt because she was living with the Mushi in her leg uh, her whole life and she would feel the pain probably the Mushi felt when hearing those stories and then yeah she would hear the stories she'd be covered in all the all the words the, that that the Mushi told her and it would, she would just transfer transfer it onto the scrolls and it had a bunch of information about all the Mushi from all the generations before her time and we got to see her in action the the seals on some of the on some of the scrolls were weakened and we saw her bring everything back and we got to see her uh put a story out on a scroll after ginko told her and it looks like they have a real friendship tanyu and ginko you know they made the promise to travel together if her leg ever heals so that'd be cool to see in the future if it does happen in the later episodes um yeah it was nice of uh nice of ginko to give her a different perspective of mushi because she was just feeling so down after hearing about all the killing and ginko just brought that different perspective and it looks like that's how they created a really close bond with each other so cool cool little mushi again uh hopefully tanya can heal that leg up um so she can travel around with Ginko and see all the Mushi she heard so much about. Um, so yeah, can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.